Hello everybody, this is Stringham back for round four of group B. Another tightly contested group here. We will start off round four with Ultimate Dino King going up against Khalid. A big opportunity for either of these two to put some breathing space between themselves and the bottom two. Then we will see Team Asia going up against Black Beauty. I, I feel like this could be the most important game because if Black Beauty wins, then whoever wins the first matchup will be going through as well. So whoever wins between these two will go through and then Black Beauty will go through and then Drogon Targaryen the third will go through by default. <laughs> and speaking of the devil, Drogon Targaryen will be taking on Monarch Horridus. Monarch clinging on, clinging on in this tournament. A must win game. Right, without further ado, let's go with the first match. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting match. Oh, well, um, that's a good feel for Ultimate Dino King, isn't it? In the red corner, we got Super Tarkia. Super Tarkia with not just terrain advantage, but it's got the type advantage over Taurosaurus too. And if you're a... Uh, if you're Khalid, you're probably not wanted to see this field. Although, a saving grace is that this Saltosaurus does have terrain disadvantage, so it's going to be interesting this match. Ultimate Dino King. Starting to get going, I think. Starting to get going. And a win for either of these two will put them top. Well, in the meantime, anyway. In the blue corner, for Khalid, we have got the Taurosaurus. Taurosaurus looking strong. Although, it'll, it'll probably have problems in this matchup. On the basis of the Taki having the type advantage and the terrain advantage. So, expect to see Khalid try and swap early. Backing up the Taurosaurus, we got Tajongosaurus. Tajongosaurus will probably have to do most of the work. And actually, yeah, it does have terrain advantage as well. So, yeah. Ooh. This is going to be a really good game. It's going to be a really good match. Right, first things first. Get the terrain advantage done first. So the Taki gets the first hit. So, yeah, really interesting match. And there's a tight advantage and terrain advantage playing out. Okay, that's once. Four. Oh, is that another hit? This is a strong start from Ultimate Dino King. HP in the red. Oh, it'll be time to swap for Taurosaurus. Oh, hello, we got a shockwave. Well, I don't think that swap's going to be happening now. That's twice. Oh, the Archaeopteryx charm coming in to save the day. And in fact, the Taurosaurus will not be attempting to swap. Oop, that's a tie. Oh, here comes the Sand Trap. Oh, the Dino King completely on top so far. We'll have the Awaken mode next. So if the Taurosaurus dies here, which I don't think it will. Yeah. He could get a free crack at the Tajongosaurus. This is more like the ultimate Dino King we've come to see in my tournament. Oh, hello. Archaeopteryx Charm at it again. <laughs> oh, he can't get the Khalid can't catch a break. Oh, the Awaken mode pulverizing the Tajong the Taurosaurus. And, well, it's all on Tajongosaurus now. and Time to swap out the uh, Tarpia. Ooh, hello. Khalid's getting a crit. Stopping that swap as well. Almost killing the Tarkia. Saltosaurus will get a little bit of a jab as well. Now things get interesting because... I'm sure the Saltosaurus will come in. And Khalid will get a crit on that Saltosaurus because it has terrain advantage over it. Well, it would have got a crit anyway. Ooh, now, now all of a sudden... Because the terrain advantage plays out here, which means that the Tajongosaurus is going to get a rock roller. And has that changed everything? Well, it's all about the crits in this match. Oh, you almost killed it. Oh, look at this. Khalid on the brink of getting three big points against Ultimate. 
Oh, hello, we got Hydro Cutter. Ultimate getting a big crit off is all about the crits in this match. Oh, hello, he's got Aqua Javelin as Ultimate Dino King won it. Oh, he's got the win. There's the win for Ultimate Dino King. And in the clash of the crits, it's Saltosaurus that comes out on top. And that three big points for Ultimate Dino King to tighten his grip on the top four. And for the time being, put him top. But yeah. As for Khalid, they will get a losing bonus point. So you never know how crucial that could be. But wow, that was a really good match. The crits, the terrain advantages, it, was just, it just had everything, didn't it? It was crazy. Right, on to our next matchup. Because as I said in the intro, a win for Black Beauty here guarantees their place in the last 32, Drogon Targaryen's place in the last 32, and, well, now Ultima Dino King's place in the last 32. Right, in the red corner for Team Asia, we got Sorolophus. Back in at the Sorolophus, we got Monolophosaurus, and we are on the Sunset Beach Field, which is actually bad for Team Asia. Well, a win for Team Asia, though. Ooh, well, that changes everything. It puts it puts everyone back in the mix. Keeps everyone on their toes. And it's probably a bad result for Moloch as well. Who is clinging on by the by paper strings. Right, as for Black Beauty in the blue corner, we got Pachycephalosaurus. And this is a very good field for Black Beauty. Not because they got Pachycephalosaurus, but because Bronthikins will have the terrain advantage. So yeah, I'd probably say the odds are in Black Beauty's favour here. A golden opportunity to secure qualification from the group stage. And to do Ultimate and Drogon a favour as well. <laughs> I mean, Team Asia won't be out, but they won't be able to catch the top three. Right, first things first, terrain disadvantage, so the Pachycephalosaurus gets the power drain. Okay, they both want to swap. Nope, Team Asia in the red, Black Beauty below half. The power drain playing out there, the Tappy Jara die, and it's a strong start from Black Beauty. Ooh, but Team Asia gets the next hit on the board. Boosh! The bot team have actually done well in this tournament. Done better than I was expecting. Probably down to the fact that I may have picked too like, strong. I picked me made, made them maybe a bit too strong. The Pachycephalosaurus getting another power drink. The dive bombers coming in as well. This is gonna do some big damage. Oh look how wide the mouth is. <laughs> Oh, actually, it might kill it. With the dives. Oh, the double dive slam. Taking out the Sorolophus. Wow, well, this is a dominant display from Black Beauty so far. Oh, here come the dive bombers again. More damage coming Team Asia's way. Ooh, the Dino Illusion has been triggered. And he's probably going to need that Dino Illusion. Oh, here we go. Here comes a Shockwave. Brontekin's getting in on the act. Actually, with a terrain advantage Brontekin's has, if the Mono's health is low enough, TB Black Beauty may have just secured their win. Right, so we'll go for Paper. Okay, well, there goes the Dino Illusion. Boosh! Yeah, that's game over. That's good. Yeah, that's definitely game over. The dive bomb is making a huge impact in this match. Well, unfortunately for Team Asia, the Dino Illusion is going to make zero difference because the Monophosaurus dies. And wow, that was a dominant display by Black Beauty. Not only did they get the win, but they got a bonus point win to guarantee their place in the last 32 round and to top Group B. Well, for the time being, that is. Now then, on to our final match. Well, it's win or bust for Moloch. 
Ooh, good field for Moloch though. Actually, no, because both guys got water dinosaurs first. But not, actually, yeah, it's still a good field for Moloch. Right, in the red corner. For Drogon Targaryen the third, we got Spinosaurus. Drogon has been one of our more impressive combatants in this tournament so far. Well, they're no longer top of Group B, but a win will put them back top. Backing up the Spino, we got Eocarcaria, the Super Eocarcaria. Awaken mode on two. It's a guy. Now this is interesting because, well, Mo well, both of our guys have water dinosaurs in first, but Moloch has an earth dinosaur as well. Right, as for Moloch Horridus, in the blue corner, we have got the Baryonyx. Moloch really surprised that they haven't, they just haven't got going yet. Like, they, they really struggled in this tournament. I thought they would do better. You know, they've done well in previous tournaments, it's just not this one. And well, if they lose this, anything other than a win is over. Because they'll be too far behind Khalid in fourth. Backing up the uh, Baryonyx, we got probably the key for Moloch here if they want to win, is the Lexovasaurus. Well, let's see how this plays out. Drogon probably already happy that they're already through. Oh, I, well, I'm happy. I'm not happy because the random number generator is playing at. Alright, we've had our little hiccup. Ooh, and Moloch is starting with the first hit. Not much damage, but hey, at least they're happy to get the first hit on the board. Oh, that's my phone going off. But Spino responds with a hit of his own. Oh, there's an Aqua Javelin as well. Drogon strike him back. Oop, that's a tie. Okay, that's... I'm pretty sure that's below half. Ooh, the Hydro Cutter coming in. Moloch Horridus getting the swap. Do I have to say? Better than from Moloch Horridus so far. Might have a problem here. Oh, actually, no. The Spino's dead. Because the Lexovasaurus comes in with a terrain advantage. So the Spino will not be dead. It's got Dino Stuffer. But it eats up the Dino Stuffer at least. Ooh, Ooh a save there from Drogon. Although, Eocarcaria will get hit. And Drogon will fail the swap. Oh, nope, it died anyway. <laughs> Spinosaur is going down anyway. Okay, that's once. Ooh, that's a tie. I will say, though, if the Lex of Asaurus dies, the Eocarcaria will get a hit on the uh, Baryonyx because of the terrain disadvantage. Oh, that's a crit. The Awaken mode to come. Can Drogon turn the screw in this match? Okay, yeah, that's probably below half, so I'll give Moloch the swap here. If they get the hit. Oh, they don't! They don't! Lexovasaurus is going down. And Drogon, I think, has turned the screw. Because the Baryonyx is going to come in. But with the terrain disadvantage, Moloch... Drogon will get the next hit. Tight advantage will spear the Barry to some damage, but... Oh, well, okay, yeah. We're pretty much even. Oh, is it going wrong? Oh, oh, it did go wrong. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, there it is. It's official. Moloch Horridus, our first casualty of the tournament. Well, they put up a good fight. They put up a good fight there, but yeah, the Eocark area just proving too strong, and the turning point was getting the hit with the Awaker mode. And it is an unfortunate defeat for Moloch Oridus, which ends their stay in my tournament. Right, let's have a look at the table, shall we? Well, that is how Group B looks going into the final round, and yet, there it is. It's official. Moloch Oridus 
out. Team Asia just clinging on there with five points, but Khalid crucially in fourth place on seven. And then these three are already through. Ultima Dino King, Black Beauty, and Drogon Targaryen the third confirming their places in the last 32 rounds. So yeah, it's basically between Team Asia and Khalid for fourth. And actually, funny enough, round five, they gotta play each other. So round five, we'll see Khalid taking on Team Asia. The winner will go through and the loser will go home. So that is practically a knockout game. So yeah, Group B is not going to be as exciting except for this matchup, which is first. <laughs> we will also see Ultimate Dino King going up against Drogon Targaryen III, a fight for top. And then Black Beauty going up against Moloch Horridus, looking to restore a bit of pride and finish on a high. But yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching and until next time, ta-ta.